I think that's a good idea. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Why are you guys sneaking up on me again? Okay, so now I've been thinking about making thermodynamics videos. So if you're interested in the laws of thermodynamics, then this is the video for you. And I know I haven't been doing thermodynamics in a long time, but this is the time. I think this is the time I have to bring the laws of thermodynamics because I have to bring them at some point. So if you guys are curious about the laws of thermodynamics, then this is the video. So let's go on the board and let's get started. The laws of thermodynamics helps us understand why energy flows in different directions and in different ways but and a lot of concepts of thermodynamics described by thermodynamics seem to be like common sense but there's a layer of math on the in um, be, beneath the intuitive level now we won't dive into the math yet but we are able to describe these laws conceptual. The first law of thermodynamics tells us that energy cannot be dis created or destroyed. It can only change forms from kinetic energy, energy to potential energy to heat energy. Now this law was proven not true on the quantum level but for chemists it does just fine. But there seems to be a preferred flow on the energies. Now, why is that? Now, the second law of thermodynamics tells us a new concept, which is called entropy. Now, entropy is a new thing that I have described in one of my solution chemistry videos. I'll link that up in the cards right here. Now... Entropy is mostly called disorder. Now, uh, entropy is like the best way to describe it with easy examples is that your bedroom will suddenly get messy over time, but it won't suddenly be neat. Now let me present to you the second law of thermodynamics. Here it is. Now, it says the entropy of the universe is always increasing. Me. Now, if we put this to the meaning which we have described that entropy is disorder, that means the disorder of the universe is always increasing. Another way to analogize entropy is with computer code. For example, uh, if we have a solid, a solid lattice compared to a liquid, the liquid is less, is more, this has more disorder than the lattice. Now, in computer code, now in computer code, to describe the solid lattice, you have to describe the geometry of the lattice, the intermolecular distances of every molecule, the configuration of the precise configuration of every molecule, and etc. and etc. But for the liquid, which has greater entropy, all you have to do is add the volume and the shape because the intermolecular distances and motion stuff are totally random. Now the liquid had less information to encode which is more thermodynamically favorable. This is why things go like a hot cup of tea would go to your, the heat energy would go to your hand or your table and the cup will get more cold and it's not the other way around. 
Now the third law of thermodynamics tells us about tells us that a perfect crystalline solid a solid with absolute zero the lowest uh, temperature anything can be which is basically zero Kelvin has an entropy or disorder of zero because that is the most ordered state a thing can be now entropy is described with joules per joules per kelvin now this isn't the measure of entropy but how energy is distributed within a system now, if we add this with enthalpy, a thing that this more accurately describes the energy of a system, we get a thing called Gibbs free energy. And that's what we are going to be talking about right now. Gibbs free energy tells us about the spontaneous, the spontaneity of a process. Now, the change in Gibbs free energy is equal to the change in enthalpy minus the temperature times the change in entropy now before we continue let's get one thing straight a negative gibbs free energy is a negative gibbs free and change in gibbs free energy is spontaneous and a positive is non-spontaneous now let's look at a few of the negative delta H's and the negative T delta S and positives of these now the first one will obviously give a positive a negative plus positive always gives negative negative now ne negative plus positive is always negative and uh, negative in this case so something that is energically favorable and then tropically favorable i wrote here fave for short is Spontaneous. Now the opposite goes for this one, where it's energically and entropically on. Now this means it's never spontaneous. I'm gonna write spawn for short. Now plus plus will always give us plus no matter what. What? So, ener, actually let me line this, energy, equally favorable, sorry, unfavorable, and then tropically favorable will give spontaneous on high temperature by the way this is plus and minus not plus i made a mistake there sorry now same goes for minus minus so here we can write energically unfavorable uh, sorry favorable and n draw Quickly, unfavorable, would give spontaneous, spontaneous on low temperatures. Laws of thermodynamics in many ways, especially the second law. 
Now, I'm not going to go over the thousand details of how many times the second law have been misused. But in this video, I'm going to go over one. Some people tend to misuse it to prove and falsely prove that spontaneous processes can't happen because the entropy of the universe is always increasing. But we just showed it can in lower temperatures if energetically favorable. For example, soap. Now while we now while we wash our hands, which is frequently used in this time of COVID, so I don't give this advice often, but I really recommend washing your hands whenever uh, you touch something dirty or you <clears throat> come from the outside or anything like that. If you have to go outside, then while coming back, make sure to either sanitize or wash your hands. But in this video, we're going to go over the fact of washing hands with soap now this is important now nonpolar dirt now in this case nonpolar dirts are being mixed with the polar water now they don't mix nonpolar and polar don't mix but with soap but in soap molecules we have a polar head and a nonpolar tail. Now these construct a, a structure called micelles, which, uh, warning, will be the worst drawing you'll ever see in my channel. That's why I gave a literal image of an actual Mysel I found from Google here. I'll keep that But let me just draw it for convenience So here it is the worst drawing you've ever seen in your life. I bet Now these have the outside are the polar heads This is to in attract any ion dipole interactions from water molecules so this is how they attract it now the nonpolar tails are on the inside that is so that the nonpolar tails can go in and this can trap the dirt and it which can be washed away because Soap molecules or micelles, actually it's called micelles, not soap molecules, although soap molecules are smaller versions, but these are water soluble. Yes, these are water soluble because the polar heads are facing out. So, uh, so that's how soap works that's how you that's where we apply chemistry in real life for like the first time and that's also how spontaneous processes can work if energetically favorable in lower temperatures oh so that was the end of the video it was pretty exhausting of course uh, because we went through a lot of things but it was also exciting at seeing the how we explained the soap that was my favorite part and if you were confused with anything make sure to comment down below and and if you want more videos make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you can notify whenever a new video comes and i'm sure you don't want to miss out with that and also you can like the video you can share it to other people who are confused in the similar subject and thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye